What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to your weekly roundup of eFootball 2023 news. So as we get a little bit closer to October 5th, which seems to be kind of the date that we're looking at or around that time when a lot of the events are closing or that they are ending or whatever, we do have a roundup of the news and we're going to be able to see what is actually going to be coming today, what's available to play today. And then obviously I would just want to have a, a little chat about what you guys want to see in the next update because we do get a bit of news and a bit of updates on what they are actually um, you know, planning and what they are actually like working on. So uh, I'm just going to hide this camera two seconds and uh, we will go on from there. So firstly, just to give you guys a bit of a heads up, obviously with the authentic matches, there is nothing new to play here at all in these. So it is just the same two events. There's two days left in the events, um, the national team one and the Liga MX one. So there's two days left in that or three days left in that. Obviously the national team one and the Liga MX and you just get GP. I think um and yeah it's just for scoring goals i think that's all that you have to do so that's quite easy if you are a newcomer coming over to try it in the dream team actual itself um where you use your dream team naturally enough there is one new event just one which is a national team so they have rinsed and repeated it so the last one was just using national teams this is against the ai against national teams you still have your worldwide clubs challenge event uh which was from the other day the same the italian league and the starter cup the starter cup ends in 16 days and that's what i was talking about so 16 days from now you're talking about like around that time in october you know what i mean so today is the 19th so you have in the next two weeks is the third um or like 14 days from now is the 3rd of october and then you have the 4th to 5th to 6th um which is yeah like what 16 17 days so that kind of rounds it up to when i think the actual next big update is going to come as we kind of talked about in a previous video um and then obviously as well with the eFootball league Again, every month I seem to get caught with this. I wish that they were a little bit longer or there was a little bit more of a kind of a split because these are resetting on the 22nd of the night. So you have three days left to play your division matches before they get reset and you get pumped back down. So if it was to end today, I would go from division four back to probably division seven. So it is a bit of a, it is a, bit of a pity. No, I'm not too concerned about getting division one. It's just if I can enjoy my matches or whatever. But uh, yeah, for you guys, it is, it is kind of frustrating from what I've been what I've been hearing from you guys in, in YouTube comments and, and Twitter and stuff like that. So moving on then, we do have new contracts for players. We do have a new player agent. I already have done a review for the Juventus players. So let me know if you are going to spin or skip those. There's eight players in total. Um, my pick of them would probably be Vlavic and uh, Bremer. Um, Benucci's quite good as well, and Locatelli. But I have, as I said, I have done a review on them already. So check them out. There's a hundred. They are a hundred coins to buy. Um, if you want to get one of those guys in the club selection, and then obviously Thursday there will be new players again as well. Um, and then what else is there? Yeah, the AC Milan players are still there. The worldwide players they'll be they'll be there until Sunday or until Thursday. So all of these players will be getting. Uh, updated these will all be gone uh there's only two days left so on thursday they will be there um once more so they'll probably be you know more epic players or whatever we'll see what new legends that they are going to add um and then obviously for this one as well it's an in-game update where they talk about known issues in eFootball 2023 so i wanted to just have a quick chat about this lads i won't keep it too long because obviously i know you guys um just want the news and you just want a bit of an update on it but i want to know what you guys are hoping to see with v1.0 or v2.1.0 um because they say here that this was posted obviously on the 16th right where they talk about a fix of known issues and there's going to be 10,000 gp was sent to all users that created an account by the 16th so names are not shown properly on strips we are hard at work to fix and implement to fix or resolve or reduce the incidence of the issues listed below so they talk about the names not shown properly on strips right that's obviously because they updated the strips but they mightn't have up straight updated the kit markings um which obviously can be a bit of an issue but the actual fix that i want to talk about is the online matches are interrupted and considered void long loading times for some images in menu screen and then the frame rate decreases so i actually in the last day or two i would say since maybe what day is it today monday yeah since saturday evening um I was playing eFootball 23 and you'll see when I upload my Dream Team Chronicle matches um, what I'm talking about. I was playing pretty much like 
really really nice connection games like everything was flowing everything was fluid obviously we know the issues with the gameplay with the defensive side of the game being way too assisted way too easy it's never been as easy in my opinion it's never been as like you know like pick up and be able to actually dominate opponents defensively even if you don't know what you're doing you don't really know how to play the game it's just it's way too handholdy but I do think that like you still the better player will still come out on top more often than not. You know, that's the reason why guys like, you know, the pro players can go on 10, 15, 20, 25 uh, win streaks. Right. Obviously, stuff will happen, but that is just gaming in general or it's just football in general. Right. But I was having like no issues with the connection. I was getting four bar, five bar connections, mostly four bar and everything was flowing. Like my passes were crisp. Everything was fine. If I lost a, go- a game or I conceded a goal, I felt like, yeah, OK, it was either the game having a couple of defensive problems and balancing issues or I got screwed or I made a mistake. Genuinely was my own fault, like a bad pass or under pressure or whatever. I got intercepted on the break. Um, but from Saturday evening on, I just genuinely just felt like a different game. Now, I don't know, was it just because of the weekend? There could be congestion on the servers or whatever it is. But I want to let, I want you guys to let me know, like, when does the game play well for, for you? And are you using Wi-Fi? Are you using wired? Like for me, I'm using a one gig wired connection uh, directly from the router into my uh, PS5 and into my PC. Um, and then obviously, you know, when I'm recording videos or whatever, like everything is like testing at like seven, 800 meg down and two, three up, you know what I mean? So I, I don't know what more I, I can do connection wise. Like my ping is really low. Um, but let me know what you guys are doing because I was playing a guy the other day and I messaged him, you know, and I just asked him, was he playing on Wi-Fi or whatever? And he said he wasn't, but the game was practically, literally unplayable for me um which does change the actual experience so let me know what you guys think and let me know what you guys are actually using just a simple comment are you using wired and wi-fi um or what you guys are using because i did do a poll on twitter on this and it was kind of split 50 50 but i i definitely do think a lot of people are playing wi-fi you know which is which is uh the game doesn't seem to be able to handle you know i know that like the likes of cod and other games like online are okay with wi-fi but um yeah, it's just an interesting one for me. And then also on top of that as well, um, let me know what you guys want to see in V2.1.0 because they do talk about fixing the, a couple of bits and pieces. They do talk about a couple of gameplay adjustments. I think they will tone down the defensive side of the game. I think they will tone down the AI closing uh, space and you know covering up a lot of mistakes that you do make defensively. But let me know what you guys want to see because I'm very interested to see it. And then I want to do a video on you know things I want to see um things the community you guys want to see and just be able to give feedback directly back um to be able to kind of like you know maybe shape it a little bit better as all together so uh yeah that is it for me lads i will talk to you later that's just a roundup for the week i will talk to you soon i'll be back with a couple of more videos later peace